Accra has served as the capital of Ghana for up to 145 years as at the time of making this video. Before Accra, however, the capital was Cape Coast. In 1877, Accra replaced Cape Coast as the capital of the British Gold Coast. Please stay with me as I take you through some of the reasons why Ghana's capital moved from Cape Coast to Accra. Cape Coast is one of the most historical cities in Ghana. Portuguese colonies built a trading fort in the area. In 1650, the Swedes built a lodge that would later become the better known Cape Coast Castle, which is now a world heritage site. Most of the modern town expanded around it. Cape Coast has remained one of Ghana's most historic cities and is known for its role in the transatlantic slave trade. Cape Coast, historically known as Cabo Coso, was the initial capital of the Gold Coast and was situated on the Gulf of Guinea coast. Many European nations established themselves in the Cape Coast starting in the 16th century, using the area as a base for their activities and trade up for commodities like gold and slaves. Before the British arrived, there was the Dutch, Portuguese and Swedish people. As well as serving as the economic and administrative center for the British Empire, Cape Coast was a significant Asante trading hub and roadstead port. The British took control of the Swedish built Cape Coast Castle in 1663 and it was thereafter used as the capital of the Gold Coast colony. With the establishment of some of the first schools, such as the Philip Coit Boys School, it also developed into a center for education. The British colonial government in the Gold Coast chose Accra as its administrative center in 1877, replacing Cape Coast as the regional's first capital. One of the reasons for the decision to move the capital to Accra was that Accra had a comparatively drier climate to Cape Coast. The drier climate favored the Europeans who were used to colder climate in their home country. Another reason why capital moved from Cape Coast to Accra was because of the opposition to the British proposed window tax. The British colonial government instituted the window tax while they were in Cape Coast. The British proposed this property tax as a way to collect money from the locals every household head was required to pay the fee based on the number of windows in their home any home with numerous windows was believed to be rich and capable of paying tax however the locals fiercely opposed it since they didn't agree with the tax jurisdiction. After that, they dispersed in order to establish Accra as the center of authority. From Cape Coast, the capital's location was changed to Accra. The Christenburg Castle was converted into the official colonial capital and Accra became the center of government. Ghana's economic hub is now Accra. A municipal council was formed subsequently to improve the town. Ghana's economic hub is now Accra. Inland to Kumasi, railways were constructed from Sekondi and Accra. Accra developed into its prosperous trading hub. Today, it serves as the commercial and educational center of the country and also the heart and cultural center for the country. Accra subsequently was declared a city on the 29th June 1961 by Ghana's first president Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Accra has been one of the fastest growing cities in Africa since the pre-colonial era. The next video you might consider to watch is my video about should Ghana move capital city away from Accra. Thanks for watching and God bless.